this is an important document and uh, the consultants were appointed by the, by the NGBs themselves and the NGBs undertook these reviews and so that's a, that's a departure from previous, pre previous times so they, they oversaw the management of this themselves. The critical issues I believe were identified in these, in these, in these reviews, warts and all, and uh, really kind of uh, highlighted some really important issues and th I suppose the, the important piece now is that we go and implement this and as part of that we'd, Sport Ireland will be working with the governing bodies looking at, at some kind of a program and business plan around ensuring that these recommendations are implemented and that's the process now that, 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 that follows. I suppose one of the major things is the actual process itself and the increased involvement of national governing bodies uh, in, in the review. I suppose that makes for it's important that there is a culture of debrief and, and self-evaluation introduced into sport in general and that there's an important learning piece possible after that. So that and I suppose the fact that they were heavily involved ensures that the reviews were most relevant to them and they addressed the issues that they felt were relevant to performance in their particular sports and obviously one would expect that it would be easier to implement the, um, the findings and the recommendations of the reviews as a consequence. We're static in terms of funding and it's, uh, we, we have huge regard for the smaller NGBs that do tremendous work and I think I think we in Sport Ireland work hard to ensure we're there to help support and encourage them uh, because they really do uh, are of great value to Irish citizens and uh, they offer opportunities to a lot, of rain, a lot of people that might not ever be involved in sport if they weren't there. So we're here to help and support as much as we can.